Hey everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Forest River Cedar Creek Cottage destination trailer. This is the 40CL model. This is a front living room, rear bedroom with a loft over top of the rear bedroom layout. Take a few minutes, walk you through the outside and inside of this new destination style trailer. This particular unit was ordered with the almond furniture color, which is kind of a leatherish material. And they also offer a darker leatherish material called graphite or a fabric material called cashmere. So you have three furniture choices. The window treatments up above, there are three choices for that. Two, this particular one is ordered in the pebble stone. You have upgraded really nice solid surface countertops. Undermount sink is stainless. A lot of little LED accent lighting around the island, uh, below the oven area over there, and also around the center top of the lighting up there. Nice woodwork. It is a darker woodwork on the Cedar Creek for the newest version. This one was ordered with the 20 cubic foot residential refrigerator in place of the standard 18. Also ordered with the upgraded convection microwave in place of the standard microwave. The newest versions of the Cedar Creek Cottage have the new larger Furion oven. Three burner stove top there, also a drawer that pulls out down below the oven. Electric fireplace, sound bar, Jensen DVD Bluetooth stereo system, nice big flat screen TV, overhead cabinetry. Um, on the windows, these were ordered with the dual pane glass windows, but you also have the day and night roller shades here in the living room area. A lot of vinyl floor throughout the coach. You can order it with carpet in the living room if you want. This one was also ordered with the theater seat. You could do separate uh, recliners if you'd rather have that, but this was ordered with the power reclining theater seats. Freestanding table, two traditional RV chairs. The seats raise up for storage underneath of them, and then there's two folding chairs. The table also opens up with a leaf that can go in the middle there. Big windows overlooking your campsite. A lot of natural lighting can come through here. Really brightening up the inside of the coach on a good sunny day outside. Really tall slides and ceiling height than this. The cottage is also a wide body, so you're 102 inches wide instead of the traditional 98 inches that a lot of RVs are. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. Uh, this is a pretty cool little feature here. The trash cans and a little pull-out drawer there. Has the soft close ball bearing drawer guides. Nice recessed hinging on the cabinet doors. The Wi-Fi uh, King router there, that's pretty nice. You can tap into the campground's Wi-Fi system there to help bring it in. Electric box with your breakers and fuses down there. Propane leak detector. Um, big sliding glass door. This is great if you park these and just build kind of a patio. Uh, really nice to be able to kind of walk in and out through a bigger door. Let's in again a lot more natural lighting. Fantastic fan uh, in the uh, kitchen living room area. The controls for it are right here. Your air conditioning and heat controls are right here. And a light switch there. The airs on the unit are whisper quiet. You have two air conditioners the way this particular unit was ordered. So you have whisper quiet ACs on there. It's much quieter when you're in here trying to talk or just trying to sit and watch TV on a good night. 
all LED lights throughout the coach. Going back the hallway, you enter into the bathroom area here. Porcelain foot flush toilet. One piece fiberglass shower. Again, really tall ceiling heights in here. Back a little bit further and you go up into the loft area. So it's really cool up here. You've got a couple beds, some cabinetry, some windows. There's a roof vent up there. There is also some TV hookups and cabinets over here. This is about three feet tall up in here. So you can, we'll crawl up in here a little bit, let you kind of get a better view, but a uh, little shelf area there, a little cabinet back here, a little pull-out drawer there. But it's three feet from the floor to the ceiling in here. Scoot ourselves back down here. Going down here, you're going back into the master bedroom area, which is roughly 79 and a half inches tall back here. So this particular unit was ordered with the king size bed. You can do a queen if you'd like. You pick up an extra five inches on each side of the bed. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. Been trying to do a lot of updates on these new products that are coming out. Be sure to also check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Got a little sliding closet here. There is a light in there, hanging bar across that area there. And over on the left is another closet or washer dryer area. So you can do a stackable washer dryer there if you want. You have USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. Electric outlet on both sides of the bed also. We're going to walk on out to the outside now. Kind of get you a real quick view of the outside. Really nice high gloss gel coat fiberglass exterior. Again, you can see the deep tent safety glass windows there, even on the sliding glass door. Large power awning. Couldn't quite get it all the way out. They're in here getting it ready for the customer service and prepping. But uh, really nice setup there. The unit is pre-wired for a backup camera system. Um, probably wouldn't be towing this camper around a whole lot. It's really meant more for a destination. But I've had some customers use that as a kind of a little security camera. You put a camera on the back or also on the sides of them and do those uh, little Furion security camera systems. They're wireless. Pretty cool feature. This unit was ordered with eight stabilizer jacks. Four are standard, the extra four are an option. You have some storage underneath the bed area there. Your dump area located right here behind the uh, axle. And there's also a pull handle up a little bit further. There's a little storage compartment here, but this is really meant to get to the water heater more than anything. Um, 20 gallon electric water heater. Behind here you have a little area to get to your water pump for winterization purposes. Uh, selector valves for the slide out, hydraulic reservoir, all that good stuff there. Uh, black tank flush, fresh water fill up, and city water hookups all located right there. Nice detachable heavy duty 50 amp electric cord. I like how they do the little pistol grip type setup there. That's pretty cool. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're. 
Up above here you have your stove exhaust vent right there. And down below, you can sort of see a little bit down here, it's kind of dark, but uh, full enclosed underbelly, low point water drains, uh, 12 volt heated holding tanks. This particular unit was ordered again with the detachable hitch on the front, so you could remove that if you wanted to block the RV. Some people choose to do that, um, but you can detach that. You do have to find a place to do with your propane tanks. You've got to set them on the ground or move them someplace. Um, traditional crank-up jack on the front. There is a propane hookup on the side, so you could do like a portable grill or something. Uh, battery also goes there. Nice fiberglass cap on the front of the coach. Uh, just some basic spec information here. Two 6,000 pound axles. ST23580R 16E range tires on the coach. Gross vehicle weight of the coach, 13,930. So 13,930. It's the most you could load the coach up to. Axle weight and hitch weight. Keep in mind, all the weight of an RV is not sitting on the axles. I get this question all the time. Why do the axles not exceed the gross weight? Because that hitch right there is holding up about 2,000 pounds by itself. If I cut that hitch off, the thing's going to fall on the ground. It don't just float. It's not balanced like a car would be. Uh, so big difference in hitch weight and axle weights, all the weights of an RV. Um, you have... Again, slide out on this side. This again is the 40CL Cedar Creek Cottage, new 2019 and a half version. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more of these new videos on the RVs. Uh, outdoor speakers here, TV hookups out here. Triple entrance step on the front, double on the back. Also, greasable axles. And you can see back here, you got your little shackle brackets. Dexter Easy Flex. Never adjust brakes. Check us out. CouchesRVNation.com. My name's Ray. If you're interested in purchasing a new RV... Toll-free number, 888-417-8299, my direct extension, 203. Thanks for checking us out.